students welcome to s child academy in part 1 of this topic we have introduced a new thermodynamic function called gibbs free energy and what are the in, what are the relation uh, with enthalpy and entropy also we have covered the basics of electrochemistry and represented a galvanic cell how the chemical reactions takes place in a galvanic cell in this topic we will move on further to represent a galvanic cell how the reduction potential is developed hello students i am dr rupasna to know more about this topic you may refer to the book by s chand publishing the e book link of which is given in the description box an electrochemical cell is represented using a line representation in which a single line separates the species in the two half cells for example in my anodic half cell i have zinc solid as my species and zn2 plus as the ionic species so a single line separating the two a single line separating these two is represented in the parenthesis we write the concentration or state of the system if it is aqueous we write aqueous it is uh, whatever is the concentration of this zinc sulfate we write in this parenthesis the two double lines represent salt bridge and again the half cell cathodic half cell is represented for so we always start with anodic part salt bridge and cathodic part this is a general representation of a cell so when reduction is happening and oxidation is happening we have to have a parameter that determines how the reactions are taking place why not copper has oxidized and zinc has reduced uh this is because we have a fixed constant called reduction potential in the reduction potential it is the voltage associated with the reduction reaction because the two things happening in a chemical reaction reduction and oxidation we we can think of a question that why not copper was involved in oxidation and zinc was involved in reduction why zinc only gave two electrons and copper took those two electrons this is because there is a standard called reduction potential which we have to see while uh, connecting the two half cells so a more positive value of e not the greater is a tendency of the substance to get reduced this is a electrochemical series uh which shows the various values of reduction potential these are the reduction potential values and by default the standard hydrogen electrode reduction potential is taken as 0 volt so all the values above this are positive below this is negative which means that these are the species which have the tendency not to get reduced negative value means they have more tendency to get oxidized in comparison to hydrogen or other species which are above this so the half cell reactions are reversible that means for all these chemical changes we not necessary will observe always reduction it can be other way round also for example if i have these two cells connected together then both of them are shown as reduction reaction but based on the e not value higher the e not value the species will get reduced that means cl2 will get reduced and copper will get oxidized in presence of uh, this cl2 so both of them are positive again the sign of e not changes when the reaction is reversed we, we have written for reduction potential if we reverse it the sign of the re reduction potential changes it will it will become positive if if i have written it for reduction if i reverse this reaction copper solid giving copper 2 plus n2 electron it will become minus of minus of 0.34 changing the stoichiometry coefficient of the half cell does not change the e not value one example we can consider here is of the topmost species and the bottommost species 
in topmost we have fluorine which has the maximum reduction potential of 2.87 we can say that fluorine in comparison to all others will undergo reduction at any cost so this can be the strongest oxidizing agent because it will help in the oxidation of all other species by itself getting reduced so larger the reduction potential more likely it is to be reduced and strong will be the uh, power its oxidizing power so it is a strong oxidant or strong oxidizing agent in the bottom most we have lithium so lithium ion taking electron is a least probability that means lithium metal has a tendency to release electron it will show oxidation when it is showing oxidation i have written here the oxidation reaction and uh, the larger the oxidation potential more likely is to the species to lose electron and thus it will be the strongest reducing agent so the trend is we are going from a weaker oxidizing agent to a stronger oxidizing agent and from top we are moving from the weak reducing agent to the strong reducing agent so far we have studied separately the gibbs free energy as well as electrochemical cell now what is the relation between the two to understand this we must know what is the relation between gibbs free energy and equilibrium constant any reaction a plus b in equilibrium with c plus d the equilibrium is established after a period of time before that we write reaction quotient so reaction quotient is the concentration of the product raised to the power its stoichiometry so i have not written stoichiometry here i have taken it 1 1 so so uh, let us write this as only c and d let us write this as only c and d so what happens is concentration of the product divided by concentration of the reactant this is my reaction quotient and this is a relation between gibbs free energy and the reaction quotient delta g not is a standard gibbs free energy change which is taken for one molar or one atmospheric pressure uh, conditions and uh, delta g is any other condition that is any other concentration uh, when you are you are at equilibrium we studied that delta g is zero at equilibrium so when delta g is zero this becomes delta g not equal to minus rt and now my reaction quotient becomes k equilibrium so only at equilibrium your delta g comes out to be minus rt ln k eq reaction quotient becomes k equilibrium at equilibrium it is greater than k or less than k when the reaction is still going on and your uh reaction is reactants are forming products or products are forming reactant then in those cases this is the situation uh so after establishing this relation uh we know that when k will be positive delta g will be negative and when delta g not is re negative reaction will be spontaneous similarly less than 1k ln k ln is natural log of k log to the base e of k so log to the base e of k is negative delta g will be positive non spontaneous reaction the uh, so we understood the fact that gibbs free energy ha has many relation with uh, equilibrium constant has a relation with equilibrium constant and from electrochemistry this is a relation so this is from thermodynamics thermodynamics and this is from electrochemistry in electrochemistry delta g not is equated to minus n f e not n is the number of electrons in volt f is a faraday's constant e not is the uh, emf of the cell that we have just now understood so equating these two we got this relation and finally e not of cell of the reaction is equal to rt by nf ln of k equilibrium uh this is the important relation that we must remember 
along with this relation n f e naught. Uh, again, what is the criteria of spontaneity or when will the products be formed? If delta g is negative, that means k is less than 1. So, e naught will be positive. That means it favors the formation of the product. k is less than 1. When it is 0, both are in equilibrium with one another. When delta g is positive, this is negative, favors the formation of reactant. Means forward reaction is non-spontaneous, but backward reaction is spontaneous. After understanding the relation between the two, we also should know what is E0 cell. E0 cell is the difference between E cathode minus E anode, that is E right minus E left, or the potential difference developed at both the uh, electrodes are subtracted like this. So if the reduction potential value of this is given as this 0.77 volt and if the oxidation potential is written as this that means the sign of the uh, reduction potential has already been changed so the E cell will be minus of 0.34 plus 0.77 comes out to be this this is how we calculate uh, in simple terms you just see write down the reduction potential reactions then uh, compare the two, you will realize which will show reduction and which will show oxidation and then subtract E cathode minus E anode. Uh, after learning all these things, one thing that is important is does electromotive force depends upon the concentration of the reactants and product? Answer is yes. So far we have wrote, we have written the uh, reduction potential for the one molar solution. If you change the condition, if you take any other concentration, then what is a relation? We know that delta G is equal to delta G naught plus RT ln Q. This also we have understood. So on just substituting delta G from the electrochemistry into the equilibrium equation, or in general equation where Q is still my reaction quotient, I get this. So just uh, take minus NF common and divide it throughout, you will get this expression. If I substitute temperature at as 298 Kelvin and Faraday's constant and as 96500 coulombs per mole, 298 uh, N remains as it is, we get this relation. This is your Nernst equation. At equilibrium, I can write this as log of Q is your product divided by reactant and at equilibrium your E value will be 0, so E cell will be equal to this reaction. So this is the Nernst equation which is developed for different concentrations of reductant and oxidants which when are present. So in this lecture, we learned about the reduction potential its various values in the electrochemical series, how the reducing agent and oxidizing agent can be determined by just looking at the electrochemical series. Uh, also, we learned about the Nernst equation and its relation of EMF with Gibbs free energy. To know more about this topic, you may refer to the book by S. Chand Publishing, the ebook link of which is given in the description box. If you found this video interesting, please like, share and subscribe the S. Chand Academy channel. Also, don't forget to press the bell icon for getting future updates. Now the permission of the copyright holder.